Today we're going to go over the Shadow Abyssal Splinter in the new patch. Now a couple things have changed. The primary change that they have done is they have removed the AP from this instance and replaced it with an XP item that you can click on and it will fill your XP bar. So we're going to go in there. It's located in Gelk at the bottom of the stairs on the left hand side when you're running down. So it's pretty easy to find. So we're just going to go in there and we're going to get one of two modes. One of the modes is just going to be normal where you go in and you just start attacking the boss. There's nothing else really to it. There's no ads or anything. The other version has a uh, NPC that you talk to and she'll tell you to talk to some shiny crystals that are going to be on the ground here. It really doesn't matter which crystal you pick, it's totally random what you get from it. And that's going to give you a weapon box in your inventory you can open up. And it's going to give you a random plus up uh, BIS weapon. Now you can compare that BIS weapon to your current weapon and see if it's better for you to use or not. And that weapon will disappear once you leave the instance. So if you're kind of undergeared, that might be a better choice than using what you have. If you have the Sovereign's weapon, or like one of the new De Demaha weapons, they're going to be better. So the NPC's not here, so I'm assuming... Oh, it's giving me a choice today. Usually it doesn't give you a choice, the NPC is just up. So there's Cruel and Cold. I'm going to do Cruel to show you. So we're going to wake her up, grab this quest, and this one is the abyssal weapon one is cruel cold is when you just talk to this npc it'll, it'll give you the key to open this gate you go in and start pounding on the boss so there's these light crystals for the cruel mode and you select them you see it gave me a weapon box now this one's not plussed up usually i i almost always end up with the plus 15 one but you can open it up and it's going to give you weapons to choose from. So let's go with Great Sword so I can show you the stats. See, the stats aren't really that much better. I mean, it's kind of, eh. So I'm just going to stick with my Damaha Great Sword. Now, in the crew version, there's going to be ads. See, there's one flowing around. Once you start attacking the boss, it's going to spawn another ad. There's also these spawners over here. Now, the instance actually won't start. The boss won't start hitting you until you hit him. However, the timer will start going down as soon as the door opens. So, I'm going to go back because normally what you would do after you select your weapon is to talk to them. They'll give you the abyssal key and you use that to open the door. But it kind of just opened it because I waited too long. So if you're under gear, there's a couple things you can do. Uh, one of the main things you can do is run over here, attack these spawners until it makes adds, and you can kill the adds, and they're gonna give you bonus items you can use in that instance to help you out. See, here comes the adds. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is when you enter this instance, it debuffs you. You're gonna have to rebuff up. So I'm going to kill these ads just to show you some of the items you can get. Personally, I don't need them, but like here we have a potion that's going to recover HP and MP. We also have one that's going to inflict additional damage on the boss. And we can go kill this one. And this one's going to give us both also. Now these heal potions, nope, oh, these adds aggro. These are the ones that he spawns usually after you attack him. So I'm just going to kill them real quick because they slow your attack speed, which is really annoying. Now let's see. So these used to not disappear, you just keep reusing them. So. I'm going to kill this guy real quick and then I'm going to start on the boss. The goal of this instance is you want to break 1 mil DPS on the boss. You will gain 1 point for every damage you do to the boss. 
so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna buff up, my shards are on, I'm all buffed, and I'm gonna attack him. And if you're decently geared, just one rotation of your skills should get you over a mil DPS if you have decent crit. So we're just gonna go beat him up. You see, each point of damage I do him, I'm getting points. Usually I break a mil by now, but I didn't get so lucky with my crits. Don't worry about the boss's HP, that's never gonna move. So you just want to kill this boss, uh, those ads that are spawning, if you're a class that can CC, you can CC them, move away from them. You can also move around, you can stand directly under this guy, move back away from him. Uh, his range for attack, I believe, is the whole room. Let's see how much damage this does. So those potions do 200k, so that's a nice little bonus if you need it. If your class isn't good enough. Once you break 1 mil points, you can just sit here and die, to be honest. You don't have to keep trying to stay alive. Because the instance will end either when the timer runs out, or you run out of HP and die. You get no bonus for uh, staying alive longer. And it looks like these potions do disappear after you use them now. It used to be they just stayed in your inventory. And you could just keep reusing it over and over again every 30 seconds. So I'm gonna stop killing him so he can kill me. So I can show you what happens when the instance ends. So now he's killed me. I'm gonna have to wait so I can res up. When you resurrect, it'll put you back at the start of the instance. And then you can either end the instance by talking to the chest or wait for a time out. And you see S rank is a million DPS or better. So I'm just going to talk to this. Actually, I'm going to let it time out because I don't think I've ever actually let time out. So let's just see if it actually does end it. Okay, it does. So what happens then is you're going to get these tokens called Abyssal Fragments in your special cube. Now these can be stored in your account warehouse. So if you have alts on an account and you're trying to get something on your main, you can run this on your alts and put these fragments in your uh, account warehouse put them back on your main to get the items you want and I'll show you those items in a second. The second thing it gives you now are these little crystals. They'll give you 5% XP when you consume them. So let's just right click on them, open them, look at my XP bar at the bottom of the screen. It's filling up. So this is a fast way if you're trying to grind experience extractors, experience marks for something. So now I use them. I can use experience mark or if you want you can use your Bobiner coins. Just another way to gain XP besides Luna or going out and open world farming. So we're going to go out here and I'm going to show you some of the items you can choose from. Now just to be warned, uh, S rank gives you 25 of those fragments and some of these rewards are kind of spendy so I'm all I definitely recommend doing this on your alt and train the fragments up. So we have a mana stone selection box, an ultimate level one that costs 500. And then we go to another page. We have a transformation contract box, uh, ancient contract box. There's a armor box. There's a weapon box. There's a wing box. Uh, we can look at the guide. Let's go to wings. Let's see how it compares. I don't think this gear is very great this patch. I'm not seeing it here. I think it might actually be the Florin set. 
So yeah, there's way better options out there. Uh, I know a lot of people grind it just for the skin. Apparently the skin's pretty good, especially on female characters. There's an anniversary box that will give you 100% uh, success PvE enchant stone. Oh, that's pretty good. Or PvP stone. Or it gives you one of each, I guess. So that'd be pretty cool to get. Pretty spendy though. And we got 100% uh, mana stone socketing box as well. So if you're stuck at that last level of enchantment or trying to socket, that might be a good option. Uh, you can get an essence bundle. You can get some frying, fr frying fragments, transformation contracts, just regular ones, uh, transparent transformations. There's some legendary enchantment. Uh, engraved mana stone selection box, a legendary grade, ancient mana stone box, and a mysterious recovery serum box. So that's about it. So just another theme for us to run when you have free time. Uh, it does, as you saw, it does not take much time to run. You only get one run per day. So kind of try to fit into your rotation. It goes by real quick. It'll take you maybe two minutes to do the instance. It's really worth doing. It's right in town. You don't have to run out of town to try to find or get to the entrance. Just make sure you're doing that daily. Alright. Well, good luck, guys. Hope this helps.